Hello Flight Simmers, I'm Adam, welcome to P3D and the continuation of the Free True Worth series where we're creating photoreal and today we're going to mask out the water. So we've downloaded our data, it's in the sat data folder and the work folder and you've got all these files here. Now if you put the viewpoint in uh, large icons you can see what's what and you just need to scroll down here to the pink files and these are all the files that contain water uh, masks if we click on one we can have a look at it these are large files these are intensely large files if we go to options and we go to image sorry in information it's a uh, 12,000 by 15,000 pixel, you know, 196 megapixels image. So this is a very large image. So it's nearly 700 uh, megabytes in size just for this one. And you can easily see where the land is versus the, uh, the water. Now, if you let the program do its thing, uh, you know, ma yes to masks, but no to scenery compilation. It will stop at this process and won't compile these BGLs. And as you can see, it doesn't actually really mask off the water that well. Um, now, there is a program you need to go grab. You can either go Google it or I've put it in my Discord. It's called paint.net and it's a free, basically, Photoshop tool. You can use Photoshop as well if you have it, um, but paint.net is one that I highly recommend and basically we're just gonna open up these one by one and create the masks now it's worth looking at the file first because you want to check to see is there any land on here no there isn't so this is going to be an easy one to do so we open this with paint.net it might take a while to load um, but it loads it full view um, all you have to do is make sure that the green channel is fully selected. It says 00FF00 down here. Um, select your paintbrush. Select the hardest size, uh, the hardest, sorry, strength, and the largest size, 2000. And all you have to do is basically paint out. That's it. Um, and if, the, if you have a texture that is basically only water all we're doing is painting off the texture um from the satellite data so that in this case it's the water texture and because it doesn't contain any land whatsoever we don't really have to worry about anything else we can just create a gigantic you know green square and that is it that one is done go to file and save this box will put chime up make sure it says 24 bit because the original was in 24 bit and click ok and it will basically now save the configuration always oh, says cancelling because i clicked ok to save but whatever's um it's it's now going to save the file and we've now created a mask for uh the fs earth tiles to finish compiling the scenery um, now depending on the size of the um, area will depend on how many masks you've got to do i mean sometimes it might just be one or two other times it might be you know 10 or 20 it just really depends how much shoreline you have we've got an island which is round pretty much actually i think there's like four islands so there's a uh, quite a few masks to go through now i'm not going to sit here and go through them all with you in the video i'm just going to show you a couple so one that only contains water that's all you need to do once it's saved you can exit out of the program And it's done. Um, I've already done another one here. So now we're going to choose one with a bit of land on it. So we'll choose this one. And again, I recommend opening up so you can see um, what it's looking like. So here, these are clouds, if I remember correctly. And if you want to see what it looks like, you can go and find the uh, original file. So it should be the second one in, really. 
which kind of looks like this one here. This is the file in question. So as you can see, if we open this one up, we can have a look and actually see what we're, we're looking at because sometimes you might think it's water, but then, you know, it's cloud. But in this case, it's cloud. We're going to mask off that cloud. We're going to go right to the water, uh, the tree edge here. This is the island, and we're going to mask right up to there. Um, in fact, all of it's we want to get rid of. So we don't really need to inspect this one that much. We just load it up and start painting. Now, there might be a couple uh, that has a, a unique type of shoreline, and um, I'll show you what you need to do for that one. So there, 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 and brush size massive. Make sure you get the entire edge to edge. And it's very important as well that the edges where there's literally no um, land whatsoever, you, you do fully, you know. So as we come down to this island... We're just going to do around a bit here. I don't think it was just that island. There was no other island here. So we'll just do that. And we can color all this in. This is the easiest way. I've seen loads of people show this. But I've show, I've seen them do it in like Photoshop with layers. And, it, and it's just so complicated. You don't really need to be doing that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm here to make it as easy as possible. Now, if you need to zoom into the image, obviously do it. Um, but we th should be all right. Um, let me just double check the image again. Uh, just to, so, yeah, we're, we're good down to here. So, basically, I want to put this on the side so I can see it uh, there. So basically, we, yeah, there's no land here. This is all good. And I don't think there's any land down here. It doesn't look like it. So we're good. So try and get as close to the island as possible uh, or the land as possible without taking any land off. Now, once you get down a little bit closer to it, you can start reducing the size to get in a bit more finer. But what I tend to, what I like to do now is now that I've basically done all that I want to do, so the rest is still cloud. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn the hardness down to 50%. And we're going to zoom in. So control plus to zoom the image in. And we're going to go scroll down. And we've got 50% hardness. I'm going to take that down to 500. We've got 50% hardness. So we're going to go on the exterior line here. And just gently there. Uh, take it down to 25%. And again... Just do that. Now, another thing you can do, as well as this, is um, the opacity size. So, if you take this opacity alpha and turn it about halfway down, it will... Oh, actually, we'll take it down a bit more. It will only start to do a little bit of it, right? leaving some of this texture in and this will create uh, an effect of the water of the sim uh, like a little bit over this texture uh, down there uh, 250 it will create an effect of the water of the sim going down on this texture that we're cutting the opacity by, making it look like it's actually um, water over the, the texture itself, giving an illusion of like a shoreline, like a beach, and a coral underneath. And uh, it's going to have a nice effect. Um, it makes it easier as well to get 
these little nooks and crannies in without having to go into too much detail because at the end of the day you want to be as exact as possible because it will look bad and it'll annoy you when you're flying into it and it'll just stand out but at the end of the day we don't want it to be um unnatural at the same time so uh get rid of these hard edges here just like that but we don't want to remove any texture either of the land and that's that's what we got to be careful of that to me looks fine I'm, I'm i'm done with this one so file save 24 bits wait for it to load computing done okay and it's saving now we're going to go and do another one that has a little bit more intricacy into it um so if we scroll down uh this one i think looks like a good one so it's the it's the second from last one it's this one. Oh no not that one actually i don't think that is actually a good one to do i want i want to show you one where yeah this one yeah this one is not so much no i want to show you one that has um unique i think it could be this one that has some unique properties nope not that one um uh, do you know what it could be this one yeah so there's a lot of detail here that i want to keep you know very close but obviously all this crap i want to get out and whatever that white square is and so yeah we're going to do this one so it looks like that uh it's the third from last one so it's this one so basically uh you can get really creative and create some interesting results uh and and paint.net is fantastic because it's free um it's just like photoshop though you don't need layers you don't need complicated stuff um but you just need patience and if you do it right the first time it's done so we're gonna go hard first and we're gonna go to a thousand and we're just going to take out the edges because we know there's nothing in the edges uh, just to about there and we can take this all out as well because we know this is all good but as you can see you can see that there's a line around here we want to keep everything within this there's like a you can see a very dark pink line and that is what I want to try and keep um, as much as possible. So, but we got to be careful because some places they don't actually have any give or leeway for us. So we have to kind of be careful to not do this. At the end of the day, if we make a mistake, we can click undo. Right, so that's done. So I'm going to take the opacity down to 50% and the brush down to 500 and just maybe the hardness as well, 75. And just gently go over. Hmm. There we go. Do that because I don't want to remove that texture. But I do want to take off this. And it's just gently, just a bit at a time. I find that this works best for removing the stuff that you don't want, but retaining what you do want. Doesn't matter if we hit the pink a bit, because uh, at the end of the day, it's only 50%. And we just go over these edges here, knocking this off. So 
So now that I've done that, I'm going to take this down to 25%. I'm going to increase the size of my brush and just gently take off the edge. So it leaves some of it, but it, uh, it does leave some of it. Uh, oh, actually, probably not that. Undo. Keep that. Take it down a bit more. Increase the size of the brush again, and just gently that's better and there we go now that's going to create a very realistic look thing of water dripping over so we save that 24 bit wait for it to compute done and done and that is going to have a nice effect now that's basically it i'll do one more i'll do this island here which uh is the this one here so basically we want to keep this white shoreline so i'll put this on the other screen so i can i can see it uh where is it gone this one open with paint.net so I want to keep the, 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 the white shoreline, which will have a pink line going around it, the sort of uh, the wave thing, but there's a lot of cloud that I want to remove. Um, and you can also do this by removing clouds as well. You can actually, you know, uh, brush over clouds. Now it will remove the texture as well, but default will shine through. So um, you still will get things, but at least you won't have these awful clouds in the way. So brush size to hardness, get all this done, all the boring stuff. Now, obviously, like these are massive file sizes. So like I, I consider myself to have a fast CPU, you know, um, it's not like majorly fast. It's not the best, but you do need a good CPU if you don't it's going to be a lot more painful and you're going to be waiting a lot more for things to load because these are massive files so it helps to have a fast cpu right so that's as close as i want to get i think uh, i want to take too much off gotta leave something for the fans um, and we can go down a bit more on this okay so we want to do a 50% uh, 75 and half the brush size and just go over that and over that okay and then go down to 25 percent opacity is it out of 100? No, it's not out of 100, so that's about 25. And, and do one more pass. Just to tidy it up. Ooh, not too much there. Right, that's going to do. That'll do me.
the end of the day if you're not happy with the results you can go back in and redo this and touch it up and then recompile it don't take that long so it, it's not the end of you know the world if you go oh actually look at that if you save your files until you finish the you're happy with the masking then you can go back and touch it up again but i'm happy with that basically that's it now what i'm going to do rather than make you wait through all of these i'm going to go through now and and do the rest of them um and then when all these are filled in well, i'll bring you back and show you the next steps okay uh, if you've got any questions about the masking please leave them in the comments below or in my discord and i'll be happy to answer it but i'll i'll bring you back when it's all done now okay so i've gone through the mall and i have masked off everything so best thing to do now is put it the view mode into list and you'll notice that some gear icon files here that say area info snap off some that say masks info it's the seasons that we're looking for so we want to basically select all of those now if you don't want seasons if you're not bothered if you just want summer textures select um the masks info ones um and it'll just do the masked ones and it won't bother with the seasons but yeah seasons info that's the one we want and we want to go into fs earth tiles and we want to look for that resample file number two and we basically want to just basically take that and drop it onto here there's 24 of them and basically it's going to go through each one and now it's going to compile the file in here in the scenery folder so it'll go through each one in turn because you highlighted and dropped all 24 onto it it'll do one after another and the resulting file will be the bgl file which will sit in your scenery add-on so if i get my scenery add-on folder uh this is the new caledonia area um i've created a single uh folder for all of them and um, basically all the islands that I do for New Caledonia will be in these two files. And because it's all based on coordinates, you won't be overwriting anything. It will all be the same. So it will load basically everything in here for New Caledonia when I want to go to fly to those islands. So all I have to do now is sit here and wait for this to finish. Like, it's going to take a while. Uh, it's got 24 files to do. Um, it's loaded by the looks of it all of them in but it's working on them so i just have to wait for it to finish um it could take uh, well it says here 51 minutes but it could take longer who knows it's compiling information um just sit tight and wait for it to finish and that's it you've done the scenery folder for your photo reel done masked everything all the water off and it's now complete in the next video, I'm going to show you how you create your auto gen for the texture folder. Um, so, and that video is available to watch right now. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget, I give away 50 euros of flight sim add-ons for Sim Market. All you have to do to be in with a chance to win is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below in any one of my um videos and at the end of every month i go live and select a giveaway winner and you get 50 euros of sim market flight sim vouchers thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye